What? Ah, just smack me right in the face. Hey, friends, how's it going? It's a Saturday, and we're in the barn milking a cow, because that's what we do on Saturdays. Every day, really. <clears throat> well, we all know that great movie, The Wizard of Oz, and, you know, when uh, they're coming into Oz, and old Dur Dorothy grabs her purse dog and says, Kodo, we're not in Kansas anymore, are we? And the, there's a lot of... Uh, just really odd and peculiar uh, symbolism in that movie, The Wizard of Oz, especially at the end when they they come in and the great and powerful Oz is, you know, making all the distraction and everything in front and everything is, you know, as it seems. And then they find out it's just one guy behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind the green curtain, you know, that was uh, running the smoke show kind of reminds me of exactly what we're seeing today and what actually has been going on for a lot longer the last 123 years dating all the way back to President McKinley in 1897 that was the first on record bought and paid for president our country has ever seen and what was going on was old JP Morgan uh, had basically funded Thomas Edison in the invention of the electricity, the DC versus AC power, where old Nikola Tesla was trying to compete with Edison for the contract of whose template was going to power America. And the guy that was funding Nikola Tesla was bought out by JP Morgan, and the only problem was the presidential election favored a Democrat that was going to put all kinds of regulation so what J.P. Morgan did was he said, we need to buy a president. And he basically made all the campaign donations to William McKinley that needed, that got him elected. And ever since that point, the Rockefellers, the Morgans, all the rich nut jobs that run our country figured out that they could basically influence politics with money. And they've been doing it ever since. And they've only gotten much, much better at it. Well, then they took over the media, you know, the exchange of information. That was a major blow to where we find truth today. And uh, the thing I find interesting is now that, you know, the onset of technology has come where you have independent journalists and people that are not part of the mainstream media, and in politics, we've started to figure out that because the industry has bought our politicians, we figured out that they're the ones writing the legislation because more regulation only favors the big guy and it pushes the little guy out of the mix. So we have more consolidation over time. And now we're at a point where uh, the monopolized industry, I mean, there's basically seven companies that run everything food, media, education, everything. And we're starting to figure out, well, folks, this is not a democratic republic anymore. The industry controls the government. They've been bought out. So how do you vote? This is a neo-fascist society now that operates under the umbrella of a democratic republic. And you control that by how you spend your dollars. Because when the industry controls the government, it's all, the, ba the voting ballot is not done every four years or every time there's an election cycle. It's done every time you pull up to the gas station or when you pull up to the grocery store, what you buy. And if you're buying stuff that's subsidized by the government, written through legislation by the industry, you're only making the rich guy richer. Mm-hmm. And it's a vicious cycle we must under, begin to understand. When we stand back from the whole thing and just spend time observing where, what is truth and where is it coming from, who is the man behind the green curtain? Because they're just using our politicians as talking heads. They're just monopoly players on the board. They're not the ones pulling the strings. We know that. It's probably about time we wake up. Turn off the TV and start wising up 
and voting with our dollars. That's that's where the change comes. Well, I gotta quit blabbing. I gotta get this cow milked. You guys take it easy.